Poppy Queso in the building, baby. Go crazy! I'm about to go crazy. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Poppy Queso, straight out of Lethal Weapon 7. Hey, I hope you guys are having a rock solid day. Today, I wanted to finally give you a few key settings, changes to make, and some tips I feel will help for a better Call of Duty gameplay and, and improvement. I must admit, it took me a while to even be comfortable sharing content like this because I was somewhat of butt cheeks at the game, <laughs> just to be honest. Whether that was a poor aim, losing one-on-ones, or just making dumb rotations, costing my team wins and rebirth, or the big map, all the same, right? But after doing about three months of fine tuning my aim and play style, I began to see drastic improvement on a few things like higher kill gameplay excuse me i can't talk today more more wins more confidence approaching gunfights within rebirth or the big map right this all started with me changing a couple settings getting into practice mode getting comfortable with it right a lot of people say hey change this change that and it's supposed to just immediately make an impact on your game but i feel like you have to get into practice mode or you know dmz or whatever mode you know where you can actually focus on focus on one skill or the other right so let's start with sensitivity so personally i run 88 sensitivity with an ads sensitivity multiplier of 0 0.79 now if you don't know horizontal sensitivity um defines how a stick movement you know how, how fast you can move right and left in the game without ads in that multiplier is that that's basically controlling how fast or how slow you'll be moving when you're aiming down sight as cliche as it sounds like many videos you probably clicked on and heard this setting is all about personal preference meaning you have to find that number that best suits you somebody telling you that hey you should run seven seven or six six it's not going to really do it for you you actually have to go in there and fine tune and, and figure out how fast you want to move whenever you are go right or left or if you want to turn on somebody or anything like that you have to actually perfect that a lot of times they don't really tell you that you know sometimes you see these clickbaits where it's like hey change these immediately it makes a great impact you know i tried that um a couple months ago and a guy was saying how you should run like four four sensitivity and three three sensitivity and it'll make you dramatically better with your aim and though i did see a drastic change in how my aim didn't shoot all over the place it wasn't comfortable to me because i have such a demanding push play style so i recommend going in and starting at six six or five five going into practice mode you know go into practice mode create a little team death match um with bots or whatnot and just run around using that sensitivity for about 30 minutes or so uh seeing how it feels and if it feels really really good you know try it out inside rebirth but if you feel you're not your movement is not precise in where you want to go when you want to go there i would recommend higher in that setting another setting i wanted to mention will be the input dead zone section right so i was kind of skeptical of actually changing this because i didn't know if it was going to affect my movement but i did see someone recommend lowering your left stick max sensitivity to 0.80 i think he said like 0.78 or something like that just because it'll if you have automatically tax sprint um pressing down will be a little bit easier to pick up your your sprint with it at 0 0.80 i tried it i loved it um, i recommend you try it you know see how it feels and it helps with the rotational aim assist as well third and final setting i would recommend changing like immediately is this ledge hang mantle behavior if you're like me moving around rebirth before changing this sometimes you get stuck whenever you're trying to climb on something or you're just trying to like jump on top of the ledge or you're trying to jump off a building or something like that and sometimes it makes it to where you have to like pause for a second and that can lead to you losing one-on-one -on -one gunfights when you have it on mantle only i think that's what the issue is so i recommend changing this to movement base you'll see a drastic change in your ability to jump slide um hop over or get away quickly whenever you're outnumbered during those rebirth fights those close quarter fights hey thank you for watching guys if you like this kind of content be sure to leave a like comment and hit that subscribe button. Peace.